I completed this sheet earlier this year for a company and they in this firm have a number of tasks that are produced every day and um, then they want to do a few things with these tasks so they have them all in one list and so the first thing they're going to do is email so they would email probably the head of the department regarding these tasks and then they would copy these tasks to each of the departments so they have shipping and receiving and they have inventory and so they would copy them to their their task list for each department and then they would like to record them in an archive file so they can keep track of these tasks and whether they have been completed or not. So the first thing we're going to show you is I'm going to show you um, the email. So the reason, the, how you know that it's going to go is if you have yes here to indicate that everything is in place for you to proceed forward with this task. And so I'm going to click on the email and the top one is what should be emailed. So let's click on the task, on the email task. And there you go, um, I have a, a task uh, emailed ready to be sent to the warehouse and it's saying a task requiring your attention. Um, the task is received goods, uh, date due is 10-15 and outstanding is what the status is of it currently. Okay, so I'll just close this email so I don't have to send it. And so the other thing that they want to do, they wanted to process this data so that the, the task no longer is in our task list, but it's in a list for each of the department. So the shipping and receiving has uh, their, own, their own sheet here, which they had, we would have access to. And so let's click the process. And not only will it copy it to the shipping and receiving, it will delete it from this sheet here, and it will put it onto our archive list of tasks. So let's press the process. And so that top list has been del deleted. So now let's go to the shipping and receiving list. And there you see the, uh, the shipping and receiving goods and outstanding. You could have as much detail in here as you'd like. And then also on the archive list, we have the uh, archive list of the tasks so that you keep track of them after they've been deleted from your first sheet. So now let me explain the code that I've written for this. So um, the first thing is I'm going to send it by email and the subject um, the subject in department is what's coming off the sheet. So I'm doing the end row current regions count and for two to the end row. So it's looking for a yes in any one of the, the columns or any one of those rows there. And so um, and then it's going to set outlook object or set outlook create outlook object application set outlook mail equals outlook item and it sells if it's yes or yes i had to do both a yes with a small y and yes with a big yes or a big y in the yes and then um e address is sheet one sells x10 and the, the subject is task requiring your attention the department is uh, sheet one x3 assignment date is the date that's there the task is what's in x4 and date due uh, and status is what's on the on the thing then it sends this this um this information in in the e in the body of the email and then you uh send the subject which says task requiring your attention uh, outlook display and then what i've done is i've displayed the outlook uh, email um you you could possibly have this sent automatically but i just for you for demonstration purposes i put the 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 comment in front of this so it did not send it um application display alerts equals true set out app outlook app to nothing so we're clearing it out set outlook mail item to nothing and if okay so that's the email part of it now and then the process what we, we've done here is we've um set it x equals two and row equals rows count now x equals two to end row cells now we're looking for if there's a yes in there if, once again the small y yes or the or the capital y yes then department sheet department equals sheet one cells and then we have assignment date equals assigning it to that cell task and we're assigning it to the 
x4, date due is x7, status equals sheet 1, x12. And if the department is shipping receiving, then it copies all that to the shipping and receiving. Else, they only have two departments here, and so if the other, the other, if it's not shipping and receiving, it would have to be inventory. Then it would would copy all of the um, the data to the inventory sheet. All right, and then it's calling copy and delete, and this is a a sub that I've written. Now basically, it's just saying taking the end row that we've figured out from the first one, and it's just copying everything that we've got here to our archive sheet, and so that you have a copy of everything that's gone through your task list. So that's how you split tasks. You send emails regarding tasks and split them into departments for your task list. Please subscribe.